sufficient amount of time for us to explore these parallel tracks. There's got to be a certain amount of back and forth. Um, the city has to determine who is going to be on the committee. They have to meet the established committee. I'm not exactly sure all the procedural requirements that you need to go through. That's going to give us about a week to sit down and talk. And then we're going to be back in front of you again in two weeks saying, look, um, we had some productive discussions, but there's been some back and forth, and we really need to get back to you. I mean, to, to demonstrate my client's good faith, we have, in fact, already retained a, a licensed architect. Um, we're simply waiting to sit down and talk to the city and see what they what they want. Um, so, I, again, this is a um, long-standing problem. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be resolved in two weeks. And if we're only given two weeks, it's, it's primarily going to be focused on defending the action. And then what's going to happen from there is this. Is this board may decide that my client's property is not a nuisance property. If that's certainly our position, then again, it may decide that it is a nuisance property. Well, now, my client, um, my client's mortgage company, their bank, going to start foreclosing on us as if that's the case, okay? So now we're worried about defending that also. And so uh, this can be tied up in appeal after appeal after appeal and all, and my, and all kind of legal proceedings. And, you know, that would be great for me uh, and, and my bottom line, but it's not necessarily what's best for my client and what's, and what's best for the city. And, you know, I understand this, that there's, there's been animosity, there's been complaints, um, all I can represent to the board is that today is the beginning of a different tomorrow, at least as far as I'm concerned. Uh, my client was, uh, I mean, given my client's uh, disposition for cooperation with the city, I'm really surprised that we're actually even here today. So, you know, maybe it's the fact that, you know, you know, the, 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 you know I've opened their eyes to some things, but um, you did say you took a walk around the property. I, 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 walked, around <laughs> <laughs> I walked around the property for several hours. I walked. Um, I hope it wasn't at night time. No. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I walked around the property in the morning. I walked around the property into the apartments upstairs, into the bathrooms, into the basements. And so, you know, yeah. no, I didn't go out there, you know, and I, to be dead honest with you, I had no plans on going out there. You're, you're <laughs> well, you know, Council, uh, uh, please continue, <coughs> with your, continue with your remarks, and then I have, a, have to address something. So please continue with your remarks. Yeah. But, but that's that's one of the things that we would like to discuss. Is because um, you know I'd like to go on you know public record saying if there are drug dealers, criminals, pimps, prostitutes, jaywalkers who are living. In our prop, in our complex, we're there. Gang bangers. Arrest them. Arrest them. And we will evict them as well. I mean, so. We haven't done it for yet. My clients are not coming down from Persephone and breaking their own windows. They're not spraying gang signs on their own walls. So, you know, we're. We want to be part of the solution. And I think there's been a lot of complaining about my client, but I don't think there's been a uh, sufficient amount of direct communication with my client on anything other than, well, if you don't fix this, we're not going to give you a CEO, and we're going to cite you for this, and we'll give you a fine if you don't do it. And, you know, again, the city's been working with developers to sell the property. Just common sense tells you that, you know, if, if, if I have a car that I'm going to trade in, the tires are getting a little bold. I'm not going to go out and buy brand new tires to, you know, to, to trade it in the next day. I'm going to live by on those on those old tires. And everything I've read up till now, which in the newspapers, which in the council meeting uh, minutes, is this complex is going to be knocked down, it's going to be knocked down, it's going to be knocked down. I don't think anybody's addressed what happens. What if it's not knocked down?